Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video comparing and giving my thoughts, updated thoughts, if you requested, on the Walking Dead television series from AMC and the Walking Dead comic book series from Image Comics, which is a better telling of the story and why. Right, great so I have done this type of video before and I wanted to kind of just give my updated thoughts on it people wanted to hear what I think nowadays about the Walking Dead comic book series versus the Walking Dead television series which is a better telling of the story up until this current time and which do I prefer more to either read or watch in terms of the overall story so of course the first thing to say is that the Walking Dead comic book series is pretty far ahead from the television series. There's a lot more to it. Of course, we have All Out War with Negan, which just occurred. We have the Alexandria Safe Zone, and basically everything that has happened um, from the beginning of the Alexandria Safe Zone, the Hunters, and, and, and onward, uh, the television series, of course, hasn't covered yet. But it's catching up. It's catching up pretty quick. And uh, I think maybe a few years, it'll be at maybe like two seasons, three seasons. I'd say probably three seasons it will be close to the point where it's at right now. Now, granted, in that time, the Walking Dead comic book series will be further ahead again, so it'll always kind of be ahead for a while, unless the Walking Dead television series uh, eventually does catch up if they stop adding in extra material. Um, this season, we had a good amount of extra material with the first half. The second half was similar to the comic book series, I want to say, except for instead of Terminus or instead of the Hunters tracking the group on their way to Washington, D.C., we had the whole Terminus thing where they were all headed there and then it ended up being a trap. So the television series has done a good job of, of changing things up to keep them fresh and new and keep us kind of guessing for the most part. Um, and it hasn't been covering the comic book series ground too quickly. So it's the type of thing that, for example, All Out War, since they release it every couple weeks, um, the television series version of that could be maybe two seasons, let's say. So at that rate, the comic book series will kind of always be a little bit ahead. But up until the point where the, um, the television series is at right now, um, and when it eventually hits this point in the comic book series, which is better? Because obviously the comic book series having more content, it's cool to be able to go past that in the story and see where Rick's group ends up down the line, you know, a couple years later, or at least a year later, um, when all these different events have occurred at the Alexandria Safe Zone. So if you're talking about one versus the other with all the content they have out there, that's definitely an advantage for the comic book series. But if we compare them based on the ground that they have covered, being, um, for example, the comic book series up to the point when we first meet the Hunters, okay, and the television series where we're at right now, the end of season four, um, we'll have to kind of go through and, and, and see which, which version we, we like better. There's certain things about the comic book series that I liked a lot when on, upon first reading. There's certain things I like about the television series a lot. The whole governor story arc with the prison, I'd have to say, um, reading the comic book series first, of course, it blew me away, especially the end. And then seeing it uh, actually, you know, put out there in live action with Too Far Gone, uh, directed by uh, Ernest Dickerson, it just, it was even better. It blew me away. It was, it was even better, I think, than the comic book series version of it. David Morrissey's acting. I think David Morrissey's a better governor than the comic book governor. I think he makes more sense for the character. Um, all of the evolution from Rick's group, the additions of Daryl and Merle, because you have to consider the comic book series doesn't have Daryl. They didn't have Merle, so these weren't characters there. Some of the governor's lackeys in the comic book series were totally forgettable. Um, I'm talking about uh, the one fat guy. I forget his name. Really fat guy. Uh, he was sort of like the governor's right-hand man. And see, that's how important he was. Now, it's been a while since I uh, have read that part of the, uh, the Walking Dead comic book series, but... Um, that's funny. I can't even remember his name. That's how forgettable he is. Now, that's not to say that, that I'm lackadaisical or I'm not with it when it comes to the series. That's kind of showing that over time, he's forgettable, right? Whereas the television series version of the governor's guys, I want to say everyone in his group, be it uh, Merle, be it uh, Martinez or even Shumpert, I think they were handled better in the television series and they were more... Um, 
memorable characters, especially Merle. I mean, that was amazing. So from a villain perspective up to where we're at right now, I think the governor and his group at Woodbury was really cool to see in the television series, and I like that version a lot more than the comic book series version. In terms of the Hunters and what we've seen so far, I like the comic book series version of the Hunters better where they were tracking Rick's group down rather than baiting people in. I can understand why they made the change, and we're just getting to meet them now with uh, Gareth, you know, who's uh, the leader of them. But uh, so far, I, I'm not liking what I'm seeing so much, for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because we haven't seen enough from them. But there was this really um, cool feeling of, like, impending doom and just really scary feeling reading the comic book series and the way they showed what the Hunters were doing and them kind of tracking uh, Rick's group down. It, it sort of has this like Predator feel. You guys remember the movie Predator where Arnold Schwarzenegger's group is being tracked by the Predator. This really uh, weird feeling that, that you know, like a Predator is tracking you. Uh, I think that was really cool for the comic book series. So we're gonna, I can't really compare yet because we just met the group at Terminus. We just met the Hunters. But the comic book series of them version of them was really really cool especially what happened with Dale and uh, we haven't seen that yet with the uh, television series so we'll see how that goes but at up to this point with the hunters group I prefer the comic book series version so <clears throat> for, in terms of the villains it kind of goes one or the other if you want to consider Shane to be a villain um, definitely John Bernthal Shane from the television series is a lot better than the comic book series version of Shane. So I would have to go with the television series there. So so with regards to antagonists, uh, out of the three main ones we've had, there was Joe's group too, which again, I like the television series version better. So I guess we could say four if you want to count them too. Um, the comic book series version of the, the Marauders, so to speak, was they were just kind of like these weird guys that I felt like were thrown in to add a little bit of action, that kind of thing. They didn't have much backstory. They didn't have much in terms of personalities from what we got to see. So I definitely thought the Joe's group was cooler there too. So in terms of the villains, if you count them as four and not you're not counting you know, some of the others we've seen, because there are others too, um, those main, I would give three of them to the television series in terms of I like them better. In terms of the main group, the core group, and what's happened with them, uh, it was a shame in the television series that we, we didn't get to see what Andrea was going to become, but the comic book series version of her is there. So seeing the same thing happen, I mean, we have Michonne, that's going to be probably the same. So you don't want to keep everything exactly the same in another telling of the story. You'd want to kind of, uh, you know, shake it up a bit. So I do like Andrea, obviously, more from the comic book series. I like Dale more from the comic book series. But Herschel, I like a lot better from the television series. A lot better. Um, Rick is one. He's he's kind of a, uh, I don't know, he's a tough one. I really like the comic book series, Rick. He's pretty badass. He's, at this point, his body, just one thing after another. Uh, of course, the television series version, Andrew Lincoln, he does an incredible job with acting it out. And um, he still has his hand, <laughs> which is good. Um, and I, I I think for some reason, when, it, when I start thinking about him, right away I kind of think about uh, the death of Lori and seeing how his acting was after after Lori died. Also, the death of Shane, and after that happened, this is you, this is you, not me. Um, man, that really just like gave life to to that character. Whereas in the comic book series, I want to feel, I, I want to say that it didn't really feel that same way. It didn't really feel like it had that kind of an impact. I mean, it was really sad to see, and they, they you know, that Charlie Adler draws it out really well. Um, but when you see it acted out in live action, the emotion there is just incredible. So um, I think what I'm trying to say here is with regards to the core group and their versions from the comic book series versus the television series, there's some I like more in the comic book series, and then of course there's some I like more in the television series. Of course we get Daryl added on, which is an amazing addition I think that the comic book series never had. Really cool another character. Tyrese is still there, Abraham's still there. So it's like you have pretty much all the characters that were in the comic book series, and yet they're adding on even more, which is good. Um, the only thing is, like I said, those those couple that are not the best, like Andrea and Dale. Um, let's see. So overall, uh, in terms of the environments, um, I want to say that you know the comic book series is is cool, but it's really nice to see it to you know um, put out there in live action too to actually see the set designs of the big prison and uh, you know the battle with the fences and all the walkers coming up the herd um, that encounters uh, Daryl's small group when they go off to find the uh, the medication. Um, yeah, so all in all, even though the television series has had some things different about it, and there are a few things I like better about the comic book series version, um, 
I think I have to go with the television series version as being my favorite between the two. They're both my favorite in their perspective worlds. Like the comic book series version of The Walking Dead is my favorite comic book ever. There's no comic book series that I've ever started to read and just, just constantly every time an issue is released, the day it's released, want to read that issue all the time. Usually they're up and down. Usually they change writers. They change artists all the time. The Walking Dead has been so consistent in terms of quality and so consistent as an overall story. It's it's very impressive to see, you know, uh, over 100 issues of the same writer, the same artist, you know, consistent quality, still interesting, reinventing itself, changing the story and evolving over time. Incredible comic book series, my favorite ever. Television series, my favorite television series of all time. The amount of episodes they're doing, the amount of character concentration, uh, they're upping the budget, they're adding on more like environments with Woodbury, the prison, you know, all these different things. Uh, now Terminus 2. Um, and it's, it's just my favorite television series of all time, quite simply. <clears throat> so to compare them both, really it comes down to I want to say, what do I enjoy more? Do I enjoy watching something in live action? Or do I enjoy reading it more in a comic book? I do love reading comic books, but to see it done in live action, done properly, if it's done properly, I enjoy even more. The problem is most things that are adapted from a comic book series to a television series or movie, a lot of times it doesn't work out. It's not the same quality. So for this one, at this time, I got to say the television series uh, wins this for me. Now, this is a very... Um, a topic you can get very in-depth about, you know, comparing each different character from the comic book series to the television series. I talked about Rick there for a minute, Shane, Andrea, the others. Um, you know, each one, it, it depends. I have to really would look at, you know, which version I like better. But uh, for the most part, I want to say the television series um, characters, especially with the addition of Daryl and Merle, I like better, and, and, and Shane's portrayal and the governor, I like better for the most part than the comic book series version, even though it, it does have a few things. Like I said, uh, Andrea and Dale. So anyway, uh, those are kind of my thoughts um, on, you know, which is better, which is a better telling of The Walking Dead, which is like the, the true Walking Dead. I want to say the television series has surpassed the comic book series now after four really, really strong seasons. So we'll see where it goes from here. We'll see what happens. And uh, let me know what you guys prefer. Do you like the comic book series version better or do you like the television series version better? I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, as always, and I'm saying peace.